So it's been a while since we last have Nokwa Kula in a lab, and this time we have something not too new, but to me it's quite new. Uh, this... It's definitely new to me. I never knew they have such a cooler. So this is the NHP1 by Noctua. It's a passive CPU cooler. Yes. So pa passive cooler practically just means there's no fan, but they did say you can strap in a fan if you want to, but that kind of defeats the purpose. So mm -hmm. in today's video, we're gonna unbox this, see what's inside. See then how it performs. Of course, we're gonna install it in a more realistic scenario. So practically, passive CPU coolers won't be as effective as an active cooler is that the right word i don't think so i mean it depends on how you install the cooler because for most passive coolers uh the way it cools your cpu is of course through the airflow that comes in and out of your pc case mm. so for us we'll be using an open test bench mm -hmm. so it heavily depends on the environment's temperature and how the air flows mm -hmm. Also, we are installing it with a Core i5 14400F. That's an F, right? Yes. Okay. So that's so, a more realistic one. If you're going <coughs> to use this with an i7 or i9, it will definitely the more throttle. And of course, upon unboxing, you'll get the usual accessories box and the top. Wow, okay. I haven't unboxed. Noctua's cooler for a very long time <laughs> and they actually give you a proper screwdriver now. Look at this! Mmm! Aside from the manuals and your mounting brackets and so, uh, I think that's pretty much it for what you'll find here. Mm -hmm. The more piece? Okay, this is a H2. Okay, that's good. Oh, they give you the latest. They give you the better ones. And of course the brackets and yes, no more Philips. It's all talks now. Okay. This is huge. Hmm, the fin stacks. Look at this. JD, you better stop working on what you're working right now. <laughs> <laughs> and come and have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> is this not the b <laughs> oh <laughs> ah okay it's not your average hitting fins for sure yeah it's less dense it's less dense it's a lot thicker okay and there's a lot of holes and of course six heat pipes look at that look at that Looking, looking. Ah, see that? Look at the heat pipe that spans through the heatsink fins. It's been a while since I last see a passive cooler. I mean, I've seen bigger ones that takes up the entire case. Let's put this on the test fence and see how it works. Yes, I am curious how the installation process goes since they changed the screwdriver. So this is the Intel Core i5 that I bought. Actually, it's for my own personal rig upgrade, but mm -hmm. uh, I have not unboxed it yet. And then this cooler came and we thought it's a good fit for this kind yes. of test. Ship you? Yeah, my baby's going in. It sounds wrong, but okay. Mm -hmm. Not gonna comment on that. <laughs> Plug in your 8 pin before installing the cooler. Yeah. No, 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 the angle is very really bad. Okay, so moral of the story is in install uh, the install the EPS first. For this kind of scenario, yes, install the cable. And also for our case, it's because we did not remove the AIO cooler. Yeah, that's uh. that's my problem. Yes, I admit that. Is this the alright orientation? Yes. It's like the... Technically, it should be like this. Yeah, okay. I think there's no other way. Everything is on idle right now. Yeah, disregard the AIO cooler behind that's uh, mm -hmm. from the previous setup. I just got too lazy to remove it. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
let's see our current indoor temperature is at about 28 degrees okay so it's slightly lower than most people in Malaysia that doesn't use this air conditioner. Yeah, definitely lower than the current ambient. Mm -hmm. Because if you go outside, it's like 34, 36. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. When the system is on idle, the CPU temperature recorded here is idling at about 37 and 38 degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. not Fahrenheit, Celsius. And you can see the thermal cam here, it says that there's one layer of orange yellow stuff there mm -hmm. that's the hot spot technically not the hot spot that's the heat sink it's at 35 degrees celsius right mm -hmm. now uh, software what's the temperature reported as software software side is showing 37 38 it's hovering around there okay mm, so far so good so let's let's give it some stress Okay, we will do a very simple one So now. As you can see, we are running the test, so I just want to take the time to show you this. Uh, in what, what is this configuration called again? B, is it? Uh, according to the, what do you call that? The user manual, user manual this is in B orientation. Yeah, That's so A and B. B orientation, usually, I think this makes sense because usually your case airflow will go in from the front and then go through the fin stacks and then exit through the bottom mm -hmm. uh, no, no not the bottom <laughs> exit through the back okay so it's been more than five minutes since we started the stress test and check this out the temperature right now is at around 82 and 81 degrees celsius but as of now i will say Temperature is looking fine for passive cooler, honestly. Oh, you can. Oh my. Oh, they they gave you the retention bracket so you can actually mount the fan in any orientation you want as long as it allows you to do so. Yes. Okay, so it's been more than five minutes since we started the stress test and check this out. The temperature right now is at around 82 and 81 degrees celsius okay ambient temperature 29 degrees celsius um we are still very far away from the thermal throttling or at least the thermal limit which is at 105 correct it's at 105 if i'm not mistaken yeah and we are only at like 80 something now low 80s the thermal cam at this far of a range if we aim it down we can see it's at 47 oh no 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 no! if i aim it properly then it's like 50 degrees celsius but if i go closer but yeah and there's no hot spot technically the entire thing is warm so okay. we're only getting like 54 oh no even at a different angle we can get 56 57 mm. i'm just gonna take a picture it's hot it's definitely hot not to the point that you cannot touch i can still touch it yeah, you can still touch it, but you won't be comfortable. Ouch. Mm. Yeah. I mean, some phones can go like 60 degrees Celsius, so this is nothing to me. But as of now, I will say temperature is looking fine for passive cooler, honestly. They didn't include any cooling fans, but from the user manual, they did, uh, they did mention that you can actually install a fan on this cooler they even yeah. gave you the mounting bracket yes retention bracket so you can actually mount the fan in any orientation you want as long as it allows you to do so yes okay it has been 15 minutes the current temperature is interesting it's at oh you see the package the te package temperature is 91 it's spiked up but it also dropped down to 89 back 86 but the maximum temperature that we obtain is 92 so it is technically thermal equilibrium now since it cannot go any higher really mm -hmm. and the test has been ongoing for 15 minutes unrealistic test it's either 64 CPU stress test mm -hmm. the temperature from the thermal cam remains the same highest I've seen is 61, 62 so enough to pasteurize your eggs sir no <laughs> <laughs> no okay. Either way, 
the cooler is in thermal equilibrium now, you can still touch it, not comfortable, not gonna do it. But I would say it does its job really well for the core i5. Mm -hmm. Ambient temperature is still at 29. Is it? Let me check. Yeah, you got 10 then. No, no, it dropped a bit, 28.8. .8. But either way, it's, it's, it's still around there. It's still yeah. around 29. So, does its job real well. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Works yeah. really well with the core i5. And of course, if you're going to install this thing in a PC case, you will have better airflow because it's in a smaller space and you have more air moving in and out if yes. you're using a if you're using a proper pair of cooling fans, pair or pairs. Yeah, in this case, uh, as you can see here, let me move the camera a bit. Our GPU is not running. It has the zero dB feature. So when there's no load, I mean, not hot enough, then the fan won't run since we don't have any fan for the CPU. Totally, absolutely inaudible. Yes, you don't hear anything aside from the ambient noise. Yeah. And Which of course, is actually highlighted here because mm -hmm. of the top and bottom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, passive coolers. If you want to buy this, it's a bit more complicated because it's technically not, not available here in Malaysia. Yet, yet. Yet. I'm not sure if they're going to bring it in, but yeah, it's currently unavailable. I will find you all the links on where to buy this cooler. So, if you're interested, check those links out. I think that's pretty much it for the cooler this time. If there's any update, I'll probably post it on our social media site or perhaps even a follow-up on our website regarding the cooler itself. Yeah, all the links to our website, social media in the description below. And yeah, really liking this cooler. Yeah, that's all. So see you guys next time. Bye-bye.